How's it going, people? You like my new gold Book of Mormon? That's that nice and shiny. It's a lot less heavy than a real gold book. I mean, what would this be, about 60, 80 pounds, if it were really gold? But I thought this would be a great reminder of the point I've been harping on so I can stop harping on it. Let's take one look, and this... Isn't that pretty? My gold Book of Mormon. All right, let's get chapter 11 out of the way. Now, this is kind of interesting. I mean, chapter 11 is just the first part of a long-ass hallucination, or I mean vision, excuse me, uh, where, I mean, Nephi wanted to... So far, all he's done is talk to the voice in his head and been told things by the voices in his head. But now we can add hallucinations to all of his uh, problems. For it came to pass, all right, I didn't get very far, did I? Well, <laughs> chapter 11 of Nephi, First Nephi starts with a bang, or at least with a slug. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Bought a bother, bottle of this for my brother-in-law for <laughs> the holidays. All right, let's try that again. For it, came, for it came to pass, after I had desired to know the things that my father had seen, or hallucinated at least, and believing that the Lord was able to make them known unto me, as I sat pondering in mine heart, I was caught away in the Spirit of the Lord. A lot of that happening in this book. Yea, into an exceeding high mountain, which I had never before seen, and upon which I had never before set foot. And apparently he never dreamed about it either. <laughs> this is a dream mountain. Maybe it doesn't exist, Nephi. But anyway, he got swept away in the spirit and found himself on a mountain that he's never been on before or seen or known the existence of, apparently. Pretty familiar, kind of shades of uh, the devil tempting Jesus and taking him up on a high mountain. Look at all the kingdoms on this flat world. <laughs> all right. And the Spirit said unto me, that voice in his head that gets louder and louder, Behold, what desirest thou? So now we're granting wishes. Did you rub a bottle there, Nephi? And I said, I desire to behold the things which my father saw. Because that was some good shit. And the spirit, spirit said unto me, Believest thou that thy father saw the tree of which thou hast, which he has spoken, that albino tree that was so desirable? <laughs> and I said, Yea, thou knowest I believe all the words of my father. God, I could have sold Nephi a bridge. Damn. Oh, well. Born too late. And I don't think he ever was born, except in somebody's imagination. And when I had spoken these words, the spirit, or the voice in his head, cried with a loud voice, saying, Hosanna to the Lord, the Most High God. For he is a God over all the earth. Yea, even above all. He was above all the gods. Now he's above all of everything. Okay, great. And he lives in a outside of reality, I understand. Isn't that what Venom Fang said? He lives outside of reality. But so does Venom Fang. <laughs> Ex-boy. All right. Anyway, above all the earth, and he's above everybody, and blessed art thou, Nephi, because thou believest in the Son of the Most High God. Wherefore thou shalt behold the things which thou hast desired. Good, now he's got something to talk about. All right. 
And behold, this thing shall be given unto thee as a, for a sign that after thou hast beheld the tree which bore the fruit which thy father tasted in a dream. <sighs> fruit that thy father tasted. Thou shalt also behold a man descending out of heaven. And him shall ye witness... And after ye have witnessed him, ye shall bear record that he is the Son of God. <sighs> oh, I better be careful. There's like 12 of them in this chapter. Oh. And it came to pass that the Spirit said unto me, Spirit's talking to me too, brother. <laughs> Look! And I looked and beheld a tree, and it was like unto the tree which my father had seen. Out of suggestion, brother. And the beauty thereof was far beyond, yea, exceeding all beauty. <laughs> and the whiteness thereof did exceed the whiteness of the driven snow. <laughs> but I hope I have enough. And it came to pass, after I had seen the tree, I said unto the spirit, I behold, thou hast shown me the tree which is precious above all. And he said unto me, What desirest thou? <laughs> and I said unto him, To know the interpretation thereof, for I spake unto him as a man speaketh. Is there any other way that Nephi can speak? Is he tele telepathic? He speaks. Speaketh as a, a man speaketh. <laughs> For I beheld that he was in the form of a man. So the voices have become a hallucination now, Nephi. That's so special. <laughs> Yet, nevertheless, I knew that it was the Spirit of the Lord, and he spake unto me as a man, as a man speaketh to another. That was big of him. Speaking of the condescension of the Lord. <sighs> Was I? And it came to pass that he said unto me, Look! He keeps doing that trick. <laughs> and I looked as if to look upon him. You're already looking at him. You just described him. Was this a double take? And I saw him not. Now you see him, now you don't. For he had gone from before my presence. I'm going to get drunk. That's a sad thing. And it came to pass that I looked and beheld the great city of Jerusalem, apparently still intact. <laughs> and also other cities. And I beheld the city of Nazareth, which didn't exist in 600 B.C., dickhead. Nazareth is never mentioned in the Old Testament. But he knew about it anyway, even though it didn't exist. <laughs> That's fucking funny. All right. And in the city of Nazareth, I beheld a virgin, and she was exceeding fair and white. We love them white women, don't we? Yeah. God damn it. Bastard.
<clears throat> and it came to pass that I saw the heavens open up. That happens a lot, too. And an angel came down and stood before me to replace that guy in the white robe that was whatever. And he said unto me, Nephi, what beholdest thou? <laughs> and I said unto him, A virgin, most beautiful and fair above all virgins. I love looking at women. It's a hobby of mine. I try not to be creepy about it, though, because I am a gentleman. I can't tell the virgins from the sluts. Except I'd rather know the sluts. <laughs> no offense, virgins. Some experience required. I want you to at least know what you're doing. I don't want to train everybody. You know how much bother it is to train somebody? I mean, I work for a company, and they'd rather keep a bad employee than train a new one. Anyway, he can tell that she's a virgin by looking at her. Maybe they wore a special virgin uniform that we don't know about. But just by looking at her, he knew she was a virgin. Isn't that cool? All right, and, and a honky virgin, too. You know, she was whitey. <sighs> and he said unto me, Knowest the, thou the condescension of the Lord? <coughs> Sorry about that. And I said unto him, I know that he loveth his children. Nevertheless, I do not know the meaning of all things. That's, that's very honest of you, Nephi, to say you don't know everything. Me neither. And he said unto me, that's that angel. Behold, the virgin whom thou seest is the mother of the Son of God. It's like a Christmas card here. <laughs> I timed this one right. After the manner of the flesh. Because he really didn't need a mommy. I mean, I guess Yahweh and Asherah had parted ways a long time ago, so he just had to go do the same thing uh, that, uh, you know, uh, Jupiter and... Uh, <laughs> and Zeus would do. They'd just go, hmm, look at that one. Let me just go visit that one. And yeah, Suddenly we got Hercules or Apollo. But no, 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 no. This is, this is the real Son of God, not those myths. Those fucking myths. This is real. <laughs> this is Jesus, and he's real. Because they say so. <sighs> And I said unto him, I know that he loveth his children. Nevertheless, I do not know the meaning of all things. And he said unto me, Behold the virgin whom thou seest. Somehow he can perceive he's a virgin. Maybe he's got x-ray vision. Serious x-ray vision. I mean, gynecological x-ray vision. <laughs> And he said to me, Behold, the virgin whom thou seest is the mother of God after the manner of flesh. And it came to pass that she was carried away in the spirit, just like Nephi was, just like I am. God damn it! <laughs> and after she had been carried away in the spirit for a space of time, probably nine months, the angel spake unto me, saying, Look! But I don't have time to look. i got to take a drink. <laughs> He keeps doing that. Look! <sighs> now I lost my fucking place. And after he had said... Wait, 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 wait. That's not right. That's not right. Where is it? Carried away. And after I had looked, I beheld the virgin again, bearing a child in her arms. And the angel said unto me, Behold, the Lamb of God. See, it just looks like a child, but it's really a lamb. <laughs> Let's kill it. Splash its blood all over our, our doorposts. <laughs> because it's for our own good, and fuck him. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> all right. All right, I'm okay. 
And the angel said unto me, Behold the Lamb of God, yea, even a son of the eternal Father. He's finally a father. Knowest thou the meaning of the tree which thy father saw? And I answered him, saying, Yea, it is the love of God. The love of God is a fucking tree. <laughs> which sheddeth itself abroad in the hearts of children of men. Trees do that. So does God. <laughs> Wherefore, it is the most desirable above all things. Really? And he spake unto me, saying, Yea, the most joyous to the soul. <laughs> Gold book. That's all I'm going to say. See, I just have to show it now. I don't need to keep harping on that point. <sighs> and after he had said these words, he said unto me, Look! And I look and beheld the Son of God going forth among the children of men, and I saw many fall down at his feet and worship him. And I bet he liked that a lot. <laughs> hmm. God damn it! <laughs> Gotta slow down there, Rich. All right. Oh, I thought I knew where it was. All right. Let's see. And it came to pass that I beheld that the rod of iron, which my father had seen. See, we're getting explanations now for the vision in chapter 8. We just had to wait till chapter 11. That's all. They, they timed this very well. Mm. Yeah, the, the rod of iron, which my father had seen, was the word of God. Yeah, I figured that out right away. It's a rod of iron is really a book of gold. <laughs> Which led to the fountain of the living waters. That's what the fountain was. Uh, the one that everybody was fucking drowning in. Or to the tree of life. So that's that albino tree that looks like it's diseased or something, but it's so fucking beautiful because it's white. Which the waters are a representation of the love of God. See, now we finally understand chapter 8 and all that fucking nonsense. <laughs> and I also beheld that the tree of life was a representation of the love of God. And the angel said unto me again, Look, and behold the condescension of God. You said that before about the virgin, that they could tell she was a virgin just by looking at her. That's a neat trick. And I looked, because I'm a fucking sucker about that sort of thing. I fall for that every time. And I looked and beheld the Redeemer of the world, I think that's J.C., uh, of whom my father had spoken, because he kicks Nostradamus's fucking ass. And I also beheld the prophet who should prepare the way for him, John the fucking Baptist. We get that! And the Lamb of God went forth and baptized, was baptized of him, and after he was baptized, I beheld that the heavens I held, beheld the, the heavens open, and the Holy Ghost came down out of heaven and, uh, and abide upon him in, in the form of a fucking dove. You know, if this was really written in 600 BC, that would be impressive. But if it was written in the 1820s, <laughs> Shit. This is fucking bullshit. And I lost my place. Uh, all right, there it is. And I beheld 
that he went forth ministering unto the people in power and great glory. And the multitudes were gathered together to hear him because they didn't have fucking cable TV. And I beheld that they cast him out among them because he got boring and he was repeating himself. <laughs> and I also beheld 12 others following him. Like I said, if this was written in 6 BC, that's impressive. If it was written in 1820s, honestly, I mean that with all my heart. <sighs> I be able, be, <laughs> and it came to pass, an angel spake to me again, look, behold, and I open. And, uh, uh, uh. All right. And, I, and he spake unto me again, saying, look, and I beheld, and, and, I, and I looked and beheld the Lamb of God going forth among the children of men. And I beheld multitudes of people who were sick and who were afflicted with all manner of diseases Ugh. and which and with devils and unclean spirits because apparently they're different things I guess because he had to put an and between them and the angel spake and spake and showed me all these things unto me because you're special Nephi really special if you were alive today, they would write that on the side of your school bus. And it would be a real short school bus, too. Oh. And the angel spake unto me, and showed me these things unto me, and they were healed by the power of the Lamb of God. He's just a fucking lamb. You sacrifice those. Yeah, fuck him. It's for our own good. <laughs> <laughs> and the devils and unclean spirits were cast the fuck out. Get out of there. God damn it, man. You're fucking destroying me with this. <sighs> All right. Where was I? I forgot where I'm at. And it came to pass that the angel spake unto me again, saying, Look, and I looked and beheld the Lamb of God, that he was taken by the people. Yay! <laughs> The Son of God, the everlasting God, was judged by the world. The whole fucking world judged him. It says it right here. He was judged, oh, not by, but of the world. I don't know what that means. I guess that means that when he croaks, it's for our good. So, thank you. Thank you very much. He was judged of the world, and... I saw, and I bear a record. He watched the whole fucking thing. From probably North America by now. Although they're still really in the Valley of Lemuel, I think it is. Or Laman, I forgot which one. And I, Nephi, saw that he was lifted up upon the cross and slain for the sins of the world. Thank you very much for dying for our good. So every time I sin, I can go, hey, sorry about that, God. <laughs> and then I can do it again. That's fucking awesome, man. Why didn't someone think of this before? <laughs> And it came to pass. Wait, wait, wait. Sure enough. And I, Nephi, saw that he was... Lifted. Oh, wait. And after he was slain, I... I gotta turn the page, sorry. It weighs a ton. It's 
it's made out of gold. I saw that the multitudes of the earth, wait, I saw the multitudes of the earth, that they were gathered together to fight against the apostles of the Lamb. I don't recall seeing that in the New Testament. For thus they were called the twelve, called the, by the angel of the Lord. Wait. Yeah. And the multitudes of the earth were gathered, was gathered together and beheld that they were in a large and spacious building. Oh, there's that large and spacious building again. It's both large and spacious, which is a neat trick to be two things of the same thing at the same time. Like unto the building which my father saw. And the angel of the Lord spake unto me again, saying, Not look. I know you were expecting that, weren't you? Behold. That's the other one they use. Behold the, the world and the wisdom thereof. Behold the world and the wisdom thereof. Yea, behold, the house of Israel. Israel hath gathered together to fight against the twelve apostles of the Lamb. And they Fucker. I'm already drunk, god damn you! Oh, that's so good. And it came to pass that I saw and bear record that the great and spacious building was a pride of the world. Fuck the fucking world. That prideful fucking world. We hate the world. It's the only place we fucking have. And it's the only place that's real, unfortunately. And it's a pretty fucking mean place. And it... F Pride of the world. And it fell. And the fall thereof was, ex was exceeding great. So the world falls. And it was meant to be. And the angel of the Lord spoke, spake, excuse me, spake unto me again, saying, Thou, thus shall the destruction of the, all nations, kindreds, tongues, and people that shall fight against the twelve, twelve apostles of the Lamb. And that's the end of chapter 11. Wow, I didn't think I was going to make it. Anyhow, this is, uh, unfortunately, permanent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Mrs. Arte uh, licked her Koran. I had to lick this. <laughs> and this is from 1966. Ugh. And it's been at a thrift store for I don't know how long. And it doesn't even have any fucking real maps. It just has this. That was gross. Anyhow, I'm fucked up, so I'm going to end this video fucking now. I hope you enjoyed Chapter 11. Peace out, folks.